Put it in your shape. What does that make you? Does that not make you a carnivore too? Is the rose not alive? I'm just asking questions for a friend. When real veganism is going to be you eat nothing but fruits and nuts. That's as close as you're going to get. Because anciently we didn't eat plants either. So we were never on a plant-based diet and we didn't eat meat. Oh, we were, we're just, we are plants. So what do plants eat? Do plants eat meat? Do plants eat other plants? No. The Venus flytrap eats flies. And we had bigger plants that would protect the land. So if you tried to come and hurt the land, yes, it was giant plants that would eat your ass. In the beginning, when we went to war with the human beings, when they first landed, the Pleiadians first landed, we had those giant plants. We had a giant forest. We had giant trees. And those type of plants would attack. That's a real thing. But other than that, plants don't eat plants. Plants eat what? Water. And sunlight. And if we are plant-based, that's all we require. Water and sunlight. All right? Make it make sense. All right? If we're going to talk real veganism, if we're going to talk technically, you're not supposed to be eating plants and either. So that's why I said, like, we got to remember, man, <laughs> we get so caught up in thinking because we doing something somebody else not doing it. We be quick to try to point back at them. That's why I do not do that. That's why I still talk to every single individual. All right. You're supposed to only eat water and sun. That's all you need. You have chloroplast DEA. Those plants have chloroplast DEA. That's why you can eat chlorophyll and you'll start feeling better or it'll help you. Because that chlorophyll meshes with your chloroplast DEA. You have chloroplast in you. Chloroplast. Okay? So, a lot of individuals will feel like, okay, well, I'm vegan because I'm on this plant-based diet. But you're not. You're eating plants, so you're still a carnivore. You're still a cannibal. You're not eating meat, but you're eating plants, so you're still a cannibal. I don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't care if you get upset. I don't care if you like. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's different. Listen, it's not different. I only have one question to you. Are plants alive? Yes or no? And if you say that plants are alive, which will be yes, because they have life, and you eat them, what does that make you? What does that make you? You're not supposed to eat can't. Oh, you're not supposed to eat plants. Now you could say, oh well, it doesn't make me a carnivore. It makes me an omnivore. Since I eat plants, I'm not a carnivore. I'm an omnivore. Like you're still a vore, though. So you're still a you're still a is a vore on the end of that. You know what I'm saying? So if it's a vore on the end of that, then you that means you are still a hunter of the plant. You are an enemy to the plant. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you think the plants are going to fight for you if they smell that on, your, on you? No, they will not. No different than the animals. If we walk into the jungle and the lion smells that you've been eating meat, he, they can smell that on you. They are not going to defend you and fight with you and work with your energy the same way they would as if you wasn't eating no meat. Now, it's the same thing with the plants. You can't connect to nature the same way. All right? You can't connect to nature the same way if you're eating plants. Now, somebody said, be vegan scientifically live longer. Who told you that? If a scientist told you, let's pin that up. Let's pin that. Let's pin that. Let's pin that. If a scientist told you that vegans scientifically live longer. So basically the scientist is saying that if you go vegan and you eat nothing but plants, which you shouldn't be eating no goddamn plants or no meat. We talking exact way of living here. No excuses. You shouldn't eat meat or plants. But let's say this. Vegans scientifically live longer. Okay. So. If they tell, if a scientist told you that vegans live longer, for him to make that argument, he would have to be able to know how long you would be alive, correct? Yes, he would do. He would have to be able to be like, listen, if you eat meat, you're going to live to see six, you're going to, you only live to see 50. But if you eat, if you eat nothing, if you go on a plant-based diet, you're going to live, you live to see 60. He has to make some comparison to even tell you or us that vegans scientifically live longer. But they can't tell you when you're going to transcend the realm. And nigga, you can eat, listen, you can eat, you can drink all, listen, because I'm not attacking the vegans at all. I don't see nothing wrong with that neither. I feel like, but I'm saying, we talking technical, you shouldn't eat plants neither, right? You get what I'm saying? But you basically saying, right, that if, a, if, if this individual right here eat nothing but steak burgers all day, he lives longer than that person that's drinking smoothies. 
But what if this nigga that's drinking smoothies walk out the smoothie shop and somebody shoot him in their shit at 22? Now the person that's eating steak burgers and smoking squares live to see 60. Then what you gonna say? Right? You can't... Nobody can say when somebody's gonna transcend the goddamn realm. The way you... That's just like saying, hey, if you smoke cigarettes, you're going to catch cancer. And if you don't smoke cigarettes, you won't catch cancer. Well, that's a lie. Because it's people that don't smoke cigarettes and they get breast cancer. Throat cancer. Lung. Facts. And you got people that smoke squares that ain't never caught cancer. That has nothing to do with that, man. <laughs> that's a spiritual thing. That's a spiritual thing when you try and see him. And I ain't got nothing to do with no motherfucker. what you putting in your physical body. You are not your body. You are the spirit and soul within. You know what matters more? It don't matter how many motherfucking uh, 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 rose petal shakes you drink. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how many motherfucking Mc, 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 Mc muffins you may eat. <laughs> what really matters is, are you fulfilling your purpose on the planet? And what are you doing for the planet? What's your intent? That's what you are judged by in the cosmos. When you leave here, you can't take your avatar with you. So the conversation ain't going to be up there about, hey, so did you drink a lot of rose petal shakes? Or why you eat all the motherfucking Mc McMuffins, man? I told you don't eat the McMuffins. That ain't what you came here to do anyway. That's a part of your experience. What matters is what contribution did you make to the planet? You get what I'm saying? What contribution did you make to the planet? Because you got a lot of people that's vegan, but they ain't doing shit for the planet. And they sold out. Do you know how many motherfucking people in Hollywood is sell out so they've been vegan since 91? You know how many rich motherfuckers is vegan? And they won't give your ass a dime. They don't give a fuck about you. Or the community. And they vegan like a motherfucker. What? They just don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Some people prefer vegetables. So you can't judge a person's like where their soul is at off whether they're vegan or they eat meat. You can't, you can't get caught up in that neither. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I present it like that. That's why I be like, listen, you're not supposed to eat meat. And I'll tell you that for a fact. And yes, if you're going to eat something, I'd rather your ass be eating rose petal shakes, drinking rose petal shakes. Well, you, we better off drinking rose petal shakes than eating a pork sandwich any day. If you want to, if you're at, because you know, somebody try to make it seem like he's against vegans. I am not against vegans because... I'm, I don't mind getting to that state. I'm literally one step away myself. So obviously I'm not against it. But what I'm saying is like, let's not give it this, all of this energy like it's the, you get what I'm saying? It's giving the energy of if you're not vegan, you're not woke. It can't, we're not finna do that. We, we did that with religion, y'all. We're not about to, y'all not finna come over here and start bringing this religious mindset to shit because there we go. Then now freedoms get to get took and now niggas ain't got no free will and there we go. Now, uh, uh, I see that you've been meditating, but are you vegan? Are you not vegan? You ain't getting in. You ain't vegan. You ain't. There we go. Now niggas ain't getting in. Now there we go again. Now niggas ain't getting in again, y'all. There we go. There we go. You see what I'm saying? That quick. There we go. Trying to push the Christian theology, the the whole infrastructure of the Roman Catholic Church. You know what I'm saying? You trying to bring that in to be like, you know, you got gods and goddesses sizing each other up off of like, nigga, I've been vegan ten summers. Well, I only been vegan two. Well, shit, you only been vegan two summers, so you a little nigga in this shit. No, you, you don't have any power over that God and goddess because you've been vegan for 10 years and they only been vegan too. No different than me. That's like me saying, hey, since I've been on my journey, since I literally fucking got here, right? I'm more powerful than you because you just got on your journey yesterday. No, I'm on my journey from day one to help you get on your journey now. That's what that meant. That meant I'm here to help you, not to use it as some sort of, see what I'm saying? I'm divine insight, grandmaster teacher of the eighth universe. I know exactly where I come from and what I was doing before I was in this life. I know exactly why I'm in the cosmos. But that, that, does that mean I should sit here and say, hey, I'm divine insight, grandmaster teacher of the eighth universe. I remember exactly what I was doing on the planet before I came to this until all of you should worship me. No, it doesn't mean that. What the fuck? That's like saying that. You know what I'm saying? No, it doesn't mean that. It means you have a job to... To help tear down the light cold lockdown so they can remember all the great shit they did. 
That's not to be abused. I'm here to help my people so they can further remember. That's not to be abused. That's not for me to sit here and be like, oh, I'm the only one to know some shit. That, that's like me doing that. So we can't do that with the vegan. Like, I'm vegan. I've been eating meat. Okay, but now what are both of you doing for the planet? If you've been eating meat, you need to stop eating meat. You need to kind of cut back off that. That's not good for you. But also, if you want to keep eating meat, I don't want you to feel like, well, if you don't stop eating meat, you're not getting in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because cause in is in here, nigga. We not finna start that. We're not about to bring this Christian infrastructure in to spirituality. And then we not finna start judging neither. When you start doing all that judging and there we go again. We we right, we might as well all be Christians again and move and Muslims and Jehovah Witness. And Latter-day Saints and Mormons and everything else. We can't like we never was like that anyway. Anciently, we didn't wasn't judging each other. We praised one another. We pulled one another up. We pulled each other up. We 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 worshiped ourselves and we worshiped each other's greatness. So we praised each other. That just means we gave each other kind words consistently, not when we felt good all the time. We gave each other that. We gave each other that that that, that courage. You know what I'm saying? We gave each other that that family feel. You know, we had each other's backs anciently, originally. So, you know, we like we don't want to turn it to like where we where we feel like we leaving others behind or we feeling like we better than other individuals that's not exactly at that same level on, within they self. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't never want to do that. Of course we not we not finna dilute the message for anyone. We not finna not keep it real of rich neither. No, but it's it, it, it's like with great power comes great responsibility. You know what I'm saying? It's like that type of thing. It's like a. Okay, you coming into remembering who you are. That's a powerful thing because you are powerful. So the more you remember who you are, the more powerful you become. You get what I'm saying? Because you are powerful. But what has weakened you is the fact that you don't remember that you are powerful. So every time you get a download, every time you come into some information, every time you get online and, and you seeing people share shit pertaining to enlightenment, that's the universe working through these shares, working through this live, working through different individuals to help enlighten you, right? To, to activate these memories that's already there. But so as you take on these memories, you become more empowered to know like, wow, I created the sun. Damn, I thought I was just an African-American. You know what I'm saying? When you really are able to take that in like, damn, I created the sun. I give life to the sun. Damn, I created the universe. I created these galaxies. I created these planets. We are we are a royal wait, wait, what? We a royal family, huh? What? Wait a minute. So you telling me life isn't just here? Ain't no heaven, ain't no hell. All oh, that's powerful. You see what I'm saying? When you grabbing that, when you really soaking the energy out of it. So that empowers you. You remembering more. Who and what you are and your contributions you made. Some of you have some of you made the roses. It was some of you that planted the planted the willow trees. Some of you planted the ancient trees. Some of you created different animals, different insects, different elements, different spirit beings. You know, like y'all have so many more things you've done and so much greatness in you. That's why they scared of these solar flares is pouring in. They pouring in, quantum energy's coming in. You activating. You think you not because you ain't flew off yet. That ain't how activation work. Activation starts with the end. The gen it's the genetics. You, you, you don't even notice it. And then one day you just start doing shit. I told you don't be surprised. Your lighter start floating one day. All oh, that's coming. That's the energy we in. But it first starts with you even remembering that it's possible. Right? You ain't gonna try to you ain't gonna try to phase through that wall if you don't even know it's possible. So first you have to be enlightened on what you were doing in the past. First you have to get around that disbelief that you didn't do these great things. A lot of people cannot see past the flesh. So they can't see like, wow, that we did these great things. So if you can't see that that's the light, cold lockdown, y'all have blind, Smoothie. You like this, Smoothie. You just like this. Look at you, you, You're not able to see past the veil. To remember what you are. 
See what I'm saying? It just doesn't seem real to you. And that's just go to show how deep they stuck that dick called lies in your brain. That's what that means. They deep dick you. You see what I'm saying? If some of us, no matter how much you put, put it in front of them, they still can't see past the veil. You see what I'm saying? They've been deep dicked with lies. You got to call it what it is. So if they've been deep dicked with lies, what the fuck they going to do? They can't see shit. None of it sounds real. But for those who haven't been, you see what I'm saying? You took that. I always say you got to take it out. You got to take it out. Get it out of there. Pull it out. Shit. Get it out your brain. Because they did it to us all. So if you can't get it out your brain, right? You can't see past the veil. So you can't tap into the genetics to even begin to remember what you are. I'm just being honest. Yeah, you hear me, God? You feel me? Mind three endemic. Deep dicked with lies. Smoothed out. So, but this is what they fear. The oppressors, they fear. They fear the genetics that's unlocking in you and your memories. Because your memories is what your, your memories is what brings out the power in you. You don't know you could do these things. So why would you even start to try? But as you begin to hear about, hey, it's a possibility you could do these things. At first, that sounds crazy. And then you hear it more and more, and it sounds starts to make a little sense. And then you start looking to it, and you're like, hmm, it make a lot of sense. And then you start paying attention, and you're like, hmm. One day, you're like, let me go sit with myself and try some shit. And then you begin to see, like, oh. True story. We was in Arizona. Babe, what happened to Arizona? I'm not even going to look at her. I'm going to let her tell the story from afar. Babe, can you please tell the live what happened in Arizona? I'm not even going to look at her, y'all. <laughs> nah, because I don't want nobody trying to talk about something. He looked at her. He told her. I ain't, I'm, my back to her. We in the middle of the live. Babe, what happened in Arizona when we went to Arizona? Okay, so when we went to Arizona, it was snowing like crazy for a bit. So we went to go to the Grand Canyon, and it was snowing. And then Babe went into meditation. And then when I saw him go into meditation, I ended up going to meditation with him. And we literally stopped the snow and brought the sun out. It was bright as hell. And if you look on his story and his IG, you would see that the sun was out. And we did that. We did that. Facts. <laughs> I ain't got to tell her nothing. You heard it out, out of her mouth. Because I, I was going to tell the story too. True story. This just happened. We was just in Arizona. We went to Flagstaff and started snowing. So I wasn't able to get a lot of Grand Canyon footage. I was going to do a lecture at the Grand Canyon. Facts. We get out there. It's snowing like a motherfucker. No lie. So our sisters and brother, they end up leaving. That's how bad it was snowing. They went back to Vegas like, man, fuck that. They went back. So now we stayed, right? Bana, let's go back up there today. So we go back. We go up there. It's snowing so hard, right? We sit in the car, bro. <laughs> Hear me out. It's snowing, y'all, hard. And anybody that's in the University of Arizona, y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know it's snow up in Flagstaff. Y'all shit was lit with snow. All right? Literally, we had to dig ourselves out the snow the next day type lit type snow. Now, check this out. <coughs> True story. I'm telling some other shit that happened, too, while we was on that road trip. Crazy. But... The truck driver. Yes. I gotta talk about that. Oh my god. You hear how she oh I'm gonna goodness. tell y'all about that next too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But that was crazy. So look, right? So no lie, y'all. It's snowing hard. Y'all hear me, family? I go into meditative state. Ah, immediately, um. Cause at first I was mad. I'm like, man, it's snowing it up. I got caught up in the matrix. I had to remind myself who I was. I'm like, hold on, man. Come on, man. This you know you control this shit with your mind. Literally, I had to tell myself, like, man, you control this with your mind, man. This is this is density. You know how to make the sun come out. You want with the sun. So what I do, I close my eyes. I start talking to the sun immediately. I'm talking to the sun. I'm sun, come out, sun, come out, sun, come out. I'm talking to the sun. I'm sun, 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 sun. I'm going into my, into my ritual within myself of seeing the sun out shining, feeling the warm rays of the sun shining through the car window shield. I'm going through the whole motions within myself, right? So I do it for like 
maybe 20 minutes. I open my eyes, it's still snowing. So I look over, I see Bay got her eyes closed. So I'm like, okay, I go back in for another nine minutes. And I'm talking about, I'm going hard. I'm sun, 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 sun. I am one with you. I am one with you. I am you. You are me. Bro, no lie. Like I say, because we are one with everything. And I understand that connection more than anything. You got to understand. So I really connected like I be connecting. Sun start. We now we ride off. Now we 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 come out of meditation. Sun still ain't came out yet. So we we riding off. We riding off. But in my mind, I'm like, I know when you go into the astral realms and you pulling information and energy down, it always is like a little time delay here. You gotta give it a little second because you you pulling it down from higher realms. So you have to give the energy time to descend down into this realm and materialize. You know when you start envisioning it, that's coming from the astral realms. So you got to really give it a little bit of time, what they call time, for it to materialize because it's coming down. And as it's coming down, it's coming from astral, which is up high, through your brain, out, materialize, right? In the physical realm. So we riding off like we finna leave, sun come out. We got to turn around. We're like, in the sun out now. We turn right back around, go back up there. And that's when I was able to get the footage that Bay was talking about. That little footage y'all see uh, in my... um. In my story on my main page, if you go right now, look at Arizona, you're going to see a little footage of the Grand Canyon, but you're going to see it's still super foggy. Well, it was foggy, cold, snowing, all that. That's why it was so much fog, because it was just snowing. You see what I'm saying? And then we made the sun come out, and it wasn't supposed to come out. It wasn't nowhere in the weather cast to come out. And look, no lie. After we got our little footage and we left and we and I and, we, and I started and when I know I started taking my mind off of that intent of the sun, I also noticed it started snowing in here. See what I'm saying? Start snowing right back up. So that's how you we knew that that was us because we was holding that we was holding that energy off of that visualization off of snow. You feel me? And you could do this a lot, but I'm just saying this is this is because we are we are one with everything around us. Anybody can do this type of stuff. You feel me? And even more, even more. But actually, ask yourself how much, how many times are you sitting here? Hold on, y'all, because I can't see y'all comments. Hold on. We back. How many times are and we are trying to uh, go through different modes and discuss different things? You feel me? And, or, or you are you are? Uh, I use a better example. How many times have you been going through a situation with the weather? Can we talk about the weather? And it affected you, but you didn't even try yourself to see if you could change it. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm going to come right back because I can't see y'all comments. You know, they be freezing the live. I'm going to end it.